Hello Inner Circle, this is Sandy Boucher and welcome back to my world. I'm doing this video in my office because I'm kind of pumped to share this information with you. i am got some questions for you. I'm going to start out there. I don't know how many of you have ever felt like you were just treading water and never going to get anywhere. How many of you have ever doubted your self-worth? Uh, wondered why you were here, why these things were happening to you. All of those questions, been there, done that. Uh, for those of you who follow my career, I'm a 10-year domestic abuse survivor. I have been told that I wasn't worth the air I was breathing and that I was a complete and total waste of space. And the reality is the sad part is for a lot of years I believed that. But on my stronger days, because there were days where I was just literally giving up, and I'm going to be honest about that. But on my stronger days, there was this little tiny voice inside me, even though most of the things in my world were telling me I didn't amount to anything, there was this little voice inside me that didn't believe that that didn't believe I was a waste of air. I decided to feed that little spark. And so I guess a couple things. First and foremost, I started looking online for motivational things and I found a lot of text that helped me to understand that my mood and my happiness were my responsibility and I took great comfort from that because that meant I had the power to change things. I started going online and I started looking for like motivational videos and not every one of them spoke to me. There were some of them that just seemed to be a lot of yelling and screaming. But there were things that did work. But then I realized I'm not always online. Sometimes I'm traveling, sometimes I'm on a plane, sometimes I'm at home, but, and this is where I'm really gonna admit my age, guys. Um, I still use a day book. I've had this day book for probably 20 years now, the exact same cover. Of course, I changed the insides, but the cover stays the same. This is my longest relationship right here. Why I'm sharing this with you is inside, I carry things that really resonate with me so that if I'm waiting for a plane or sitting on a bus or whatever the case may be, I can reach in and I can read one of these things and it just really reminds me to believe in myself and to keep going. And I wanted to share some of those things with you and I don't even know what they're gonna be yet. So literally, in my day book here, there is a front uh, pocket and then there's another one at the back. And I know I tend to keep the longer ones at the back and the shorter ones in the front just so I know how much time I have. I can reach in. One of the first things I wanted to share with you, and these are truth bomb cards, I guess. I'm looking daniellaporte.com. I've never gone to that website, I'll be honest, but these were given to me at a seminar and they just, I just thought they were such a beautiful reminder. So the first one says, teach them how to love. Um, that's what I want to do with every single video, with every single seminar. So today I'm focusing on teaching you how to love yourself in ways that I use. The next card says, what are you teaching the world? My mom used to always say, teach others how to treat you. If you want them to be kind to you, be kind to you. If you want them to respect you, respect you. So today, I got a great night's rest last night and I just ate something healthy. I'm teaching the world today that I value me so that they can value me too. The next card, what do you want that you already have? I know my answer. I'm not going to answer this question. I want you to answer it. So there it is again. What do you want that you already have? Oh, there's five. So this is what we're going to do today. We're going to focus on these cards. The next one 
sometimes you have to believe it to see it. This one sums up my career. I was literally doing seminars to the stuffed animals on my couch, imagining the day I would stand on stage and talk to an audience, and now that's what I do for a living. So believe it. Believe in whatever crazy thing is going to happen. Even if you aren't gutsy enough to tell anyone else, tell yourself. Believe in it. Picture it. Imagine it. Then you will see it. Last but not least, wow. Freedom always follows truth. 110%. I am, I take great pride in the fact that I am authentic. This is me. This is the me you would get if you were sitting here, or if you were sitting in my living room, if we were getting together on a Friday night, or me at the office. I am me 24-7. And I enjoy such an incredible level of freedom by being truthful about who I am. It's not easy to start, but it gets easier with every single step. Now, that's it for today. I've just got started on my day book. So this will include or continue in the next seminar. But what are you carrying with you? There's always a secret pocket in your purse where you can tuck in a little note to yourself. Even if you copy these down onto an index card or even a lined piece of paper, a blank piece of paper, fold it up and put it in there. Add all the statements that resonate with you, your favorite quotes, whatever the case may be. We all need little reminders from time to time. Rewatch my video as many times as you need to, if it helps. You got this. You can do this. You can have others believing in you by starting to believe in yourself. And you do that by creating an environment that feeds and supports you, even if it's just quotes in a day book. Until next time, I love you, my inner circle. You are my joy. I'm supposed to be working on some paperwork today, but I'd so much rather talk to you. So that's why I'm doing this video. Until next time, I love you. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.